What's up guys, it's Chilanus. I'm going to do a map rundown for Exodus Blue, which is the current week's Trials of Osiris map on Destiny. Overall, the spawns for this map seem to be pretty balanced, which thank god, it's been a long time since we've had a map that I felt has had balanced spawns. Even though I said the spawns feel like they're balanced, I do think that Bravo spawn does have an advantage for teams that are kind of camping and sniping a lot. Because of that, I enjoy shotgunning more in Bravo, while I enjoy sniping on Alpha more. Because I really like being aggressive and pushing a tempo, so with that in mind, if I'm sniping on Alpha Spawn, I can look for more angles and be able to snipe people out who are camping and sitting around on Bravo. Whereas if I'm shotgunning on Bravo, I can push a tempo and get better angles and people who are spawning on Alpha from my experience. But overall, it's roughly about even regardless of your sniping or shotgunning. For this map, I do strongly advise having two shotgunners and one sniper. Because all the random obstacles on this map and a lot of angles, and it's overall a pretty tight and close map, it definitely feels like shotgunners have an edge on this map. However, because of the wide open areas and a lot of uh, really wonky angles on this map, it's actually really good to have at least one sniper on your team who can keep the other team guessing and wondering, should we go on these snipe lines, should we pressure this team, or should we not? Pretty much every time I've ran as all three people being snipers, we just get constantly pushed pushed really hard from these really wonky angles and the other teams had no fear just leading with grenades and were able to push on us. We're able to win a lot of those games but a lot of that game is just us constantly running on our back foot, running around the map trying to wait to see if we can stop them from pressuring at us, make them use up their grenades so they don't have any more pressure or suppression on us anymore and then we can turn around and try to snipe them. That is of course if we don't snipe them initially on their way in. It made us feel really fearful when we were playing so it's good to have at least one shotgunner and at least one sniper in a team third person can go back and forth between shotgunning and sniping in my opinion. Transversely, if everybody's shotgunning on this map, then a lot of people do what we did where they just kind of run around constantly as a team and as a unit until they stop you from using your grenades to push in and they keep distance from you and then shoot you down. While there's a lot of angles you can push with a shotgun, it's really hard to push into an entire team if they're constantly running and rotating around from you. And it's really hard to pinch them as well because if one person pushes on the outside and other people push out here, while it's a relatively small map compared to other Trials of Cyrus maps it's still big enough to where you'll be separated enough from your team that the other team will be able to just pressure you over here at blue tank or pressure you over here at like tube or whatever so you'll be really cut out from the other team and it takes a while to get around all of these obstacles to get back to your team speaking of obstacles there's a lot of obstacles on this map there's a lot of seemingly random stuff so definitely take time to memorize or at least get a good idea of what shot calling locations are because there's a lot of trains there's a lot of tanks there's a lot of boxes so it's really hard to say oh he's all that train over there and they could be in any kind of train Train. there's like a train over here broken there's this train that's called train there's this train right here that's kind of like a tank instead and this is like kind of train right here that's special in it like which train are you talking about there's like four of them and there's a ton of boxes and trees it's like that all over the map so try to get some good idea and work it out with your team what your shot calls are and give them an idea of what you're saying when you call out locations that was actually one of my downfalls i had a really rough idea of what the shot calls are for this map so when i did trials of carries on friday stream i actually had a hard time saying like oh he's at the special train i said special training being this one even though this right over here is the train special so it actually confused people and made them get killed because somebody was at special train or train special sniping i said that but they then went to here thinking that they're sniping at this uh, C special location and then transversely said somebody shotgunning and hard scoping at C special one time by call it train special and they thought it was here and they just kind of ran in there and died so it kind of went both ways and it just was unfortunate I just gave the wrong call out for my team because I really didn't know what the proper call outs were regarding this map this is actually a really good map that's been provided to us by somebody named Orion the Titan shouts to them their name's actually on the bottom of the corner here and Destiny Trials Report actually tweeted out this map which is where I found it so shouts to them as well there's actually a key like a legend up here here, which is pretty nice and this is actually one of the nicer maps I've ever seen for a trials map the lighter areas means it's a higher ground because this map kind of has a slope across it so as you go down to the darker areas that means it's a lower levels and overall it's just like its highest level up here and kind of gets gradually lower and lower and lower as you go down towards the outside heavy also learn all of the call out locations for stuff like special location heavy location a cap b cap which happens to be objective for this map and then c cap right over here if you're confused these white and red dots are those like fallen kind of canister things they're kind of like rectangular ish with a little bit of round edges to them these green dots of the trees and that's pretty much it for understanding what these are all the other boxes are kind of just random crates and stuff regarding the overtime objective i not once today i played the entire day over 10 hours of trials and i didn't once go to the objective timer for the entire day this map is fairly really high paced and it has a lot of shotguns as i said before and a lot of really good snipe angles so typically the matches only go like a minute minute half at the very longest general 
general strategies from Bravo if you're shotgunning is to run straight through the B cap and then either try to challenge people who are hard scoping around this area or they'll go straight to C cap and push in through warehouse and use these pillars and other obstacles to cover their approach on people or they'll rush on left side and try to push up from the A cap area. Now I know that's pretty obvious locations that they're coming from as just the general three locations to run through but running through this area right here next to triangle and tube is a really big death trap for shotgunners because there's a lot of sniper angles going through here because a lot of people go around these crates and see specialists snipe down towards these trees areas and triangle and a lot of people will snipe through the tube area as well so people with shotgun rushing will typically get killed if they run through this area right here what a lot of people don't expect is running straight through the a cap and flanking towards the corner room and back room location and getting a really good flank on the enemy team if you rush that location really fast most teams won't even recognize that you're there and they'll probably be standing around this area right here hard scoping and you'll get a really good shot on them especially in the first round or two a lot of people just habitually from alpha spawn go straight onto this white box right here or up to the triangle location they're just hard scope trying to get an angle on people or they'll go around this location right here on alpha field so especially in that first round or two or for a later round if you really need a creative angle definitely look to this location near a cap to try to get a creative angle on other teams the general sniper strategies from bravo is to jump up to these crates and snipe through tube or snipe towards this white box over here they'll also go over to c special area and try to snipe down towards these trees locations people rarely snipe from the outside heavy location but if they do they typically go up on blue tank because there's a really shady like angle through rafters kind of deal that you aim from the top of blue tank over to this location at these boxes in this truck right here it's actually really hard to get that angle off and properly snipe through it but a lot of teams have done it a lot to be get practice and if you're not looking and you're just kind of standing around this area you'll definitely die to somebody who's standing on top of blue tank a lot of snipers also like to push over to C spawn, but it's kind of a 50 50 line because if you snipe down the warehouse towards the inside special, half the time you'll probably get sniped as well from people standing around the inside special location. So, the most common 50 50 lines are around crates to special that are sniping towards triangle, these trees in this box over here. And the other 50 50 angle is also what I just covered. So, typically, it's a bad idea to snipe those angles unless you're really confident you're going to beat the other team. And that goes for both Alpha and Bravo spawn snipers. There isn't really a very specific strategy to counter snipers or shotgunners from Bravo. And I'll actually be covering that there isn't really a general specific strategy for covering people who are spawning from alpha spawn and rushing with shotguns or sniping. Basically just watch out for those 250-50 lines I just covered and if somebody's pushing around definitely keep your eye on the radar and call out to your team letting them know which location they're coming from and almost always you'll be able to shoot down a shotgunner with your primaries before they get to you. Again the shotgun lines are around these stairs at the blue tank area through B cap and through the warehouse. Those are the three general locations that you'll be seeing shotgunners pushing at you and a lot of people use the primaries on the lead in for this map before they actually just rush at you with a shotgun so definitely make sure you're being safe and you're working with your team to team shot people because that's a big deal from alpha spawn the general shotgun locations are going through the warehouse through c and then just rushing around the c alley and through crates kind of area to get an angle on the other team they also will go to outside heavy and look at stairs to try to get an angle if people are camping on crates and hard scoping very rarely alpha will actually go through the b cap location through these doors because a lot of people can sit around here and hard scope their way in and you have a long way to run down here with not a lot of areas to hide behind. So if you get caught out in the B spawn location and try to push through this doorway, you're pretty much dead. Whereas if you push through warehouse to push towards the outside heavy area, there's a lot of locations you can find cover and route around different angles and generally just run away from the other team if you get caught out. So if you're in alpha spawn, stay clear of the B spawn if you're trying to push the other team. Try to stick to warehouse or outside heavy. Bravo spawn has a lot more angles going through warehouse, going from outside heavy or on A cap or through the B cap because there's a lot of cover right here as you can see in two different routes you can come out of so the other team has no idea which door you're coming out of they have to guess a 50 50 chance of where you're coming from whereas if somebody is spawning from b spawn and watching you from alpha push through bravo there's only one location you can come from so it's really easy for them to prepare and shoot you down on the way out general strategies for every round pretty much everybody just goes to their heavy where bravo goes to outside heavy alpha goes to inside heavy that's pretty much the like guaranteed heavy locations for each spawn what people will do from bravo spawn is they'll either sit back here and snipe from this orange thing here which again i don't even know what to call this it's just the back head glitch location area i guess or they'll sit on top of white tank a lot a lot of people go on top of white tank and some crafty people go to this outside pipe but it's a really risky strategy because it's really easy to fall off the outside pipe and if somebody finds you there's really no way you can get out of this location without either jumping towards them or jumping back to your spawn and even then like i said there's a good chance you're gonna fall off to your death while you're trying to escape from the outside pipe so if you're feeling really frisky maybe gonna try that as an angle if somebody's gonna push you on the outside heavy but i really don't recommend it for alpha when they go on inside for the inside heavy they typically kind of just spread out randomly within the warehouse 
house and try to get angles around corners and watch people pushing into them from the inside. Remember that if you're sitting for your own heavy, do not just stand on the heavy box. You will likely be killed by anybody pushing towards you. Always have scouts out looking out on radar or at the very least sit back and hard scope the area to make sure it's clear before you push to the heavy box. The general strategies for if you're Bravo spawn pushing towards the enemy heavy, which is the inside for alpha typically. A lot of people push through C and try to hard scope people down the line, but again, that's a 50-50 line as I covered before, so it's a little risky. Some people go through tube, which is also fairly risky because that's kind of a 50-50 line. We can kind of just say that a semi-50-50 line because people on the outside have an advantage. However, it's really easy to get around that sniper angle, so people can kind of just get past the tube when you don't even see them, or they go past it so fast it's basically impossible to get a headshot on them. Typically, what I do when I push from Bravo spawn is I'll go around to this triangle and throw grenades through broken wall right here to try to flush them out from the heavy. If they're sitting around the heavy, they'll probably die from the grenades and a few shots from a primary or something. And I'll try again angled then from like ramp or something like that, depending on what the situation is. Maybe then I'll wrap around the tube, depending on where the location is. If the other team's setting up back over here in warehouse location, then I'll probably go through broken wall and try to challenge them. If they're setting up near the special box, then I'll go ramp if they're snipers, or if they're shotgunners, then I'll go through tube. General strategy for if your alpha spawn pushing on the enemy team is going towards this A spawn location and try to snipe at them if they're heavy. But remember, watch out for people on outside pipe and white tank. A crafty location you can stand is right on the A cap or towards this location actually over here. You'll be able to shoot through rafters, which is where this black box is. There's some rafters you can see people standing on top of white tank. And if people jump up there, you'll be able to shoot through those rafters and at least body shot them, if not headshot them if they're standing in the right place. What I personally like doing when I'm pushing against the Bravo team as alpha spawn is I'll go towards this lower ramp right here and go under the blue tank and throw out grenades towards the outside heavy. And then generally after I throw grenades towards the outside heavy, I'll go back out through the other side ramps and flank them with my primary weapon out. I'll first generally look at white tank to make sure nobody's up top there first. And then I'll look at stairs to make sure nobody's head glitching me on the way in. And then if both of those are clear, then I'll push towards outside heavy to try to clean up anybody who's remaining. And then I myself would generally jump on top of white tank to get a shot from the skies to shoot down on them. Because a lot of people do not expect somebody to flank all the way around on them after they just poked right here to go all the way around and flank on top of white tank to suddenly be super high up. If you use the strategy I use though, be very careful because a lot of times somebody will just be straggling and sitting way back in the Bravo field and just hard scoping towards the stairs. So as you push up on them, they might not be on your radar the far off behind and they might just dome you on the way into their outside heavy. Generally pushing heavy on this map is fairly risky because there's a lot of easy ways to cover your own heavy on this map. Like if you're alpha spawn, you'll be able to sit on warehouse and cover this entry, this entry, and this entry. You have three people and three basic entries for people coming in on you. And if you're Bravo spawn, like I said before, you can have one person just kind of sitting back in the Bravo field location. One person go up to the white tank and then one person can play around stairs underground with like a shotgun or something and try to stop people from pushing in on you. Almost every enemy team go cross will be sitting on their own heavy box. Few locations to look out for for snipers and primary users. People can stand on top of tube, which is a big deal. Both of these blue crates, people can stand on top of and get really good angles on you. People can stand on this white box to get a good angle towards a C special. Uh, people can head glitch beyond this green box right here and be able to shoot towards you. A lot of people head glitch on triangle as well, which is a pretty big deal. If you stand around here on alpha field, you actually be able to shoot over this black box towards B cap and shoot over that on the left side here, all the way into this doorway. So if people are pushing into B cap. If you get there fast enough, you'll be able to head shot them over that box while they're coming through the doorway. It's a little tricky, but with a little bit of practice, you'll get a hang of it and you can probably pull it off pretty commonly. What I advise strongly against is sitting inside the warehouse trying to snipe outside of tube towards other hard scopers on the enemy team. They could be on top of either of these blue crates next to this green crate or anywhere around here in the outside field near crates and they'll be able to shoot through one guaranteed location, which is through the tube. So they can look at one set location to shoot you in that one specific place that they know you're gonna be. Whereas if you're going into warehouse trying to shoot out of tube, trying to find somebody where they're either on this crate, this crate, this crate, behind this crate, behind this crate, behind this crate on either side or somewhere out in the field. There's a lot of locations you have to scan to try to figure out where they are. And somebody can even be sitting way back here in the spawn, sliding from this back wall all the way into tube. Yes, that is a sniper angle. Like right freaking here, all the way through the tube. They'll know exactly where you're going to peek out at. We have to figure out exactly where the heck these guys are. And it's also really hard to see somebody just sitting way back here on this back wall. So even if it takes like half a second extra to find them, which it usually takes that long or longer, within that time, that's about the time that'll take them to pull the trigger on you. So generally never stand inside warehouse trying to hard scope out tube. However, it's a pretty good idea to stand out here and around crates to hard scope into tube. A lot of people typically challenge that. I'm not sure why. With so many random obstacles in this map, a general good idea 
idea to have is to always be mindful of all the random obstacles around you. There's a lot of times you're going to run around the obstacles that lead people on a wild goose chase and they'll have a really hard time trying to track you down. You might be able to save enough time to recover enough health so you can actually challenge them and beat them out. So just don't tunnel too hard on getting kills because it's really easy to get team shot on this map. Generally, good teams will always be near each other team shotting at you. So if you get weak, go ahead and accept that you'll probably lose that gunfight. Back away. Use all of these random obstacles to cover your escape and just live for fighting another day. And find your team. They'll probably be there to help you out as well as long as you get back to them. There's rarely any good reason to actually challenge somebody one-on-one. -on -one. Try to work towards 2v1s all the time. Most likely, you'll be stuck in a 2v2 scenario a lot if you're sticking with your team because the other good team will be sticking with each other as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want more information about this map, or if you just want to say, hey, Chad, you're doing a good job, man, definitely let me know in the comments below. You can hit me up on Twitter as well, twitter.com slash TV. You can also hit me up on my live Twitch stream where I do trials runs with viewers. That is at twitch.tv slash chadlantis. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Like this video if you enjoy this information. Thank you so much for being you, and as always, citizens, thank you for watching.